Tell them you got it from goats. Y'all out here fronting. Y'all ain't been behind no wall. Mm. Y'all ain't been nowhere but this little ass park. I ain't scared of none of y'all. Let's go, bro. We could. We could... <laughs> I'm slim. Let's get to it. You got change? For, for what? A buck? Yeah, I got you. Oh, Old Dog Fitness, 58. OG Shot T, 65. Y'all see what time it is, y'all. I'm gonna do a one minute hold, then I'm gonna do 10 pull ups. 30. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Salam alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Tell everybody how deep this time is YouTube is viewers. Welcome back to a new video on everything is content. <laughs> Rip right HD. Yo. So y'all know what time it is. It's a calisthenic vlog. So my man Mel, you know what I'm saying, CEO and founder of Training Day Network. Yes, sir. About to sleep over. Y'all see where we at. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. San Francisco. San Francisco in this video right here. So we in the studio right now, but we about to turn this joint right into a, a good old bedroom real quick. Look at this girl. Him is, him. Not over here. That's not mine, <laughs> yeah. so chill out. Damn. Yo, what you said what used to happen when you first started doing a tiger bent? All right, yeah, y'all see what time it is. All right, so this video at about two minutes. We're about to stop this right now. <laughs> We're going to stop the video. What's up, Slim? You ready? No. Not at all. Yo, it's dumb early. Yeah, we about to get it going. No, I just pulled up on Mel. It's about time. We about to hit um, 161 part. Have a little fun for today. OG Shot T supposed to be pulling up. We text it out to the community and go ahead, hit the bathroom, and get ready. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, guys, somebody just pulled up for some Seymour, so let's get to it. There we go. You got change? For, for what? A buck? Yeah, I got you. See what time it is, y'all. It's about to be scoot, scoot time. Yes, sir, ski. We just uh, made it, obviously, I uh, see to the four train. Calisthenic vlog, coming all the way from Brooklyn to the Bronx. Link up with OG Shanti and the Rip Rack All right. Who that, guys? No, it's OG. You know, I don't want him going nowhere. He said he by, by the, where the kids park is at, but he don't know he got to go up. Good looking, Ross. Ah, that's my man right here. What's, What's good? Yo. Yo, what up, bro? bro? What's the word? Why you man shot you biting out, yo? Yeah, what up, guys? Good. How you go? Yeah, so y'all see it, right? We got 161 right now. Um, Calisthenic vlog. Y'all know what time it is. Right now, I'm about to just get my stretch on. Get ready to put in some pain. I want to do, I want to do Oh, this was um a one. Yeah, we didn't. 
I made mean, like three or forty. Let's get it. One minute plank. Money. Y'all see him. OG highlight reel. Y'all know him. Diamond. Diamond times two. TC talks in the building. The bros. Y'all already know where he at. One minute hold. One minute hold. One minute hold. This is how you get your pull up strong. Full arm strength. Yeah, lock out, OG. Yeah, dead hang. We don't want you using no biceps. Let's work. Let's go, Gusto. Fit over 40. Don't close it. 50. 50. Let's go, bear. One minute push up hold. Let's go, let's go. Why did you cut? Try to bust the band? Push it all the way out. 50. One. Don't go oh. to two. Three. Oh. Don't go to four. Five. That's it. I'm gonna do a one minute hold, then I'm gonna do ten pull-ups. Correct form. Correct form. Oh y'all see my boy? Four. Oh you highlight real. Yeah. Let's go. Old dog fitness 58. OG shot T, 65. Let's go. So, number. <laughs> Let's go. Is. Get up off the couch, come out here, and work out. <laughs> Old Dog Fitness, 58. OG shot T, 65. 57. 58. 65. What's your excuse, man? 57, 58. 65. And check on his. Nah, Alright guys, so we finished the workout. We was with OG Shati for a bit. We did um a crazy set, obviously y'all seen. Then we also um did some videos um helping OG Shati with the filming. Um so a couple of new reels is gonna be coming out obviously on his channel. I was supposed to leave at 12 o'clock, um, but we got here kind of late. So we didn't get to get everything done. So obviously it's like one o'clock now and it's time for Dohor, the, um, the second prayer for the Muslims. So I'm caught in the park. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Subhanalladhi asra bi'a. Yeah, I see what time it is, y'all. Yo, salute. That's hey. welcome. So when you start getting them views, you start getting them views, tell them ghosts, nigga. Y'all got it from ghosts. When you start getting them views, uh -huh. tell them the real deal. You got it from ghosts. Facts. Don't front. Don't front. Yeah. Don't Yo, front. Um, love, bro. Don't front. Yeah, Just because you do pushes don't mean you can fight. So don't let's, front. Let's go, bro. So when you, when you throw this on the two, tell them you got it from ghosts. Mm. Tell them you got it from ghosts. Y'all out here fighting. Y'all ain't been behind no wall. Mm. Y'all ain't been nowhere but this little ass park. I ain't scared of none of y'all. Let's go, bro. We can, we can... Okay, guys, this definitely has to be addressed. That was a serious situation out there. Now, because of the fast thinking of the individuals that I was around at the time, as well as myself and us being adults, you know, being grown men and understanding the possibilities of what could happen, I clearly knew what kind of situation it was. It was basically a murder-suicide. You know, it's like when somebody 
kills somebody in broad daylight and then goes in the house and waits for the police to come with a gun and then shoot out with the police so that the police can kill them. They they don't they really want to die, but they don't want to kill themselves. So they call that like a murder suicide. So clearly the guy um he has some mental issues. However, um right before he went off, I didn't even know I thought he was just talking to the camera because he was directing his energy to Mel. But obviously Mel was behind the camera and they just finished shooting, a, I guess, a YouTube video. So when I seen him talking in the camera, I'm like, OK, he hype. Talk that stuff. That's why I said, yeah, bro, let's go. But at this time already, I was turning off the camera. And then that's when he wilded out. Obviously, he turned his energy towards me a little bit. And then he kind of went back to the camera and then I kept talking which made him turn his energy full towards me he started I'm talking about it got so crazy that if we was in a different situation like prison or jail you you couldn't let it just slide it was that bad you know what I'm saying SMD you know Frank Stan eat this yeah it was tough you know so yeah basically he heard this out there you know what I'm saying um if you're looking at it like that but I got a lot to lose, you know, a lot of the bros there, we got a lot to lose, um, definitely was a murder-suicide, and I hope, I hope he, he's all right, but this shows you, um, how serious it is for us blacks, you know, when we get incarcerated, man, it's a lot, he's going through a lot of trauma, who knows what happened to him while he was inside, he kept mentioning, I, w I'm so sad that I, um, cut the camera so soon, because I thought it was just a, you know, you know, I thought he was just like, yeah, Tell him you got it from gold. You know, I thought he was just like, and he just finished working out. I didn't know. I was just walking up to the whole situation. So, yeah, I was like, yeah, bro, let's go. Talk that talk. And then he was like, nah, let's fight. And I was like, what are you talking about? Like, bro, what? It, what's what's good with you? And then he started to rant and rave about doing Fed time. And I said, yo, bro, I did over 10 years. What are you saying? What yard you was on? He was like, oh, I would have took your commissary. No, you wouldn't have. Like, all right, so let's just, you know. Let's get to the point. What well, I could fight. Yeah, we all could fight. Like, what's what's your point? So he didn't make any moves or he didn't throw any punches, but he did get super disrespectful. And I just pray for that for that for that brother, man. Um, and his situation because he was willing to go back to jail because he felt like Mel and them was doing some of his moves, I guess, squats or whatever. Then he's then I asked him what sets was they doing? What are you talking about? He mentioned that some squats we was doing earlier. So I guess he was watching us since we got there at 10 o'clock. Mind you, it's 3.30. He waited all the way to like 3.30, 3.40 to say something. But it's, it, it, but it's, it's crazy, man. And guys, I just want to, you got to know a crash out dummy. This is what we call them in jail on the street. Somebody that's ready to crash out. You see in a lot of these high value murders. You know, I was scoping the scene, looking at his waist, making sure he had a book bag on. But I was kind of close up on him, but close enough to where if, you know, he did go to go to to get something. He had an arms, you know, it would have been able to, you know, a, a tussle. It wouldn't have just went like it went. So I was speaking very diplomatically, trying to add water to the fire. But obviously nothing was working with that guy. He, I mean, he got so, I, I was upset how disrespectful he got. Um, it almost tested my pride at the time, but Alhamdulillah, we Muslims, so you know, we just, we just, we just flipped that whole scenario. So I'm just giving y'all guys a, a quick breakdown. It could have got that ugly. I'm talking. I should have taped it. All right, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog, guys. That's enough for him. So now I'm in Brooklyn. I'm at the. I'm, I'm right here, Eastern Brooklyn, Utica. So it's only right that I shoot over to Lincoln Terrace to see if people in there getting that money. I just left training day in there. Where you left? I left on 161. 161 just now? Oh, yeah. you came all the way yeah, from out there to here? Yeah. You rode out here? Nah, nah. I, I, oh. I took the train. <laughs> Oh, what's good? Him recording. You know that. <laughs> yeah. Him just did a whole calisthenic vlog. Nick. Yeah. Oh. All right, guys. So I'm just coming home. 
Um, I just tried to go check three different parks, see what was going on. And obviously we got some more, um, some more CMOS that came in. And this is what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be um, doing some ripsticks and um, rubber bands. And then that's about it. I might have one or two deliveries to go make. Okay guys, that wraps it up for this calisthenic vlog. It is now 2 a.m. and I finished what I had to do. Definitely the wife helped me. Time to get some rest. Okay, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get some rest. Got to get ready for Fajr. More calisthenic vlogs coming near you. Stay tuned. Stay ripped. Six pack. Big back. Big facts. Translation is a lump of flesh, a piece of meat. And when that lump of flesh...